Hey friends, it's Megan Lorson and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a beautiful half up, half down style but with volume and some texture. So we're going to just elevate the half up, half down style a little bit. Sometimes it can get kind of like boring doing them but it's a very popular style this year so I'm going to show you how you can make it so it's more fun, make it so it's more beautiful, more voluminous, and not just like your typical half up, half down. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so as always, I'm going to tell you which mannequin I'm using today. So this one is from Hair Art. I'm pretty sure, wait, let me just know. Yes, this one is from hairart.com. I will link her down below. And I am going to, I'll be linking all the products that I use and talk about today in the description box below. I've been trying to do a better job with linking products for, for you. That way, if you like something, you can just easily go down and click the links and it'll take you straight to the product. So I'm using this hair art mannequin and I'm just running a little bit of the Kenra Lux Shine Oil through her ends because her ends are really frizzy and I just needed to tame them a little bit and smooth them out and add a little bit of shine. So I'm doing that first. Next, what I'm going to do is just take my detangle brush and start combing some of this hair back so we can start creating a little bit of a bump, some volume right here. And then I'm gonna take my pink pewter rat tail comb and I'm gonna start at the top of the head and do like a a little bit of a zigzag section. I'll show you guys on the side, right there. So it's just a little bit of like a diagonal zigzag coming back. And then I'm going to just part all of this hair forward. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, start about the same spot and just do a little zigzag on a diagonal, almost like just following this crown area. So it's like on a diagonal slash half, just following her head shape. Okay, once I've got that sectioning for that crown area, I'm going to just clip this up out of the way so we can start curling the hair first underneath. Once I've got that top section clipped up, I'm gonna take another clip and just divide this section in two, just so it's not too thick. And then I'm gonna clip this one up as well. And then I'm gonna spray a little bit of my Paul Mitchell Hot Off The Press heat protectant. This also helps to give the hair some hold as well as helping with fighting frizz and humidity. I'm going to first spray a little bit of this Osis Volume Up Hairspray. This stuff is so good, you guys. So by spraying it in the hair, it is a hairspray. It just helps to all those little frizzies to lay down and it helps to hold the curl, but oh my gosh, it gives the hair so much shine. It's insane. So I'm just going to start in the middle of the hair and we're just gonna start off by curling it. I'm gonna leave the ends out a little bit. So the ends are just like a little bit straighter. I'm leaving about a good inch out of the ends. And then I'm just going to pull it out. And I don't know, you guys probably won't be able to tell how much shine it has on the camera, but once it's all done, this hairspray is like, ugh, so awesome. It's especially really nice for like glam waves or just those soft waves, just because it adds the prettiest shine. All right, I'm going to spray this throughout the hair and it smells so good. And then I'm going to comb the hair, make sure it's nice and smooth. And then I always like taking the curling iron and running it through the hair just to help seal those ends. And then this next curl I'm gonna take and I'm going to curl it in the opposite direction of that first one. And I'm going to work my way up the head this way, going back and forth, alternating the curls. So I'm gonna do that first, and then I'll show you what it looks like once I have all the curls done, 
and I'm going to continue to spray each section with the Osis Volume Up hairspray. Okay, so I've just finished curling that bottom section and what I want to do is just lightly gather this hair and place a clip in it and I kind of bunch it up before clipping it just so it keeps that curl and I haven't, haven't brushed out the curl or anything yet. Next what I want to do is let this top section down and the reason I clip this is because I do want to keep these two sections separate since I've already sectioned out my crown area. And what I'm going to do is just comb this out and we're going to go ahead and tease this top crown section. So I'm going to go ahead, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And this mannequin already has so much texture in it just because I have put volumizing powder, but what I would actually do first on like a real person is I would take my section, I would spray my texture powder, and then after spraying my texture powder in, I would go in and tease. And then I would take my next section. <laughs> if I put like any more texture powder near her root area, she'd probably just, it would just be bad. So I would spray my texture powder. I like to use Schwarzkopf Osis Soft Dust, or yeah, Soft Dust is what it's called, Schwarzkopf Soft Dust. I'll link that one also down for, below for you. But that is like my all-time favorite texturizing powder. So this is going to be a really pretty, voluminous, classy, half up, half down style. I just want to make sure that we get enough volume in it. Don't be afraid to tease the hair. And then we're going to take one more section. And then I would spray my texture powder and then tease. And I'm just trying to keep that tease at the root. Okay, and I'm going to keep that folded over. And now we just have a sort of thin layer left. And I'm gonna gather that together, just comb through it, keep everything nice and smooth. I'm gonna take some of my volume up powder, or volume up hairspray, spray it on the section. Actually, let me divide this first. I'm gonna spray it on the section. And then I'm going to take my comb, comb through the, that section, and then I'm going to curl all of this hair that's left down. I'm going to continue to alternate the curls back and forth. And then when I take out the curls, I'm going to give it a little bit of a twist. So I'm going to twist it as I take it out. And then this next section, I'm going to spray a little bit of that volume up hairspray. I'm going to comb through that. Take my curling iron, smooth it through, and then I'm gonna curl that piece in the opposite direction of what I just curled that first piece. So I'm going to continue to do that through this whole top section and then I'll show you the next part. I'm just going to take this, what we just teased, I'm going to take it down in layers and curl each. Okay, so I just finished in sections curling this top half and I still have this clip on the bottom to separate the two sections. So after you finish curling it, what I did was gather all that hair and I'm going to take my pink pewter comb and just lightly comb this top right here just to smooth out any frizz. And then I'm going to just gather into a ponytail and take an elastic and we're just going to put it in a ponytail with a little elastic.
and I'm going to keep that elastic a little bit lower and then I'm going to take my comb and use it to split this section in half and then once I have my fingers through it I'm going to twist this hair slightly and poke my, hole, my fingers through that hole my two pincher fingers, twist that hair, put it in between my fingers, and I'm going to pull it up through this hole right here. Perfect. And then once it's through, I'm going to pull it tightly and then what this does is, is this is going to give it lots of volume as you can see right here so then what i'm going to do is just pinch and pull out some texture and volume for this crown area and i'm not going to worry about getting this secure yet we're going to leave that for a minute while we work on the front and the sides but I first just want to make sure I pinch out the amount of texture and volume that I would like. And then once you like the amount of volume on the sides, and you can even, we're going to secure this ponytail to the head. So once you do that, you can kind of push up on the hair a little bit more to create a little bit more volume. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and take this bottom clip out. That way you can release those curls. I'm going to start sectioning both sides of the hair and I'm going to just curl them the same way we did the rest of the hair. Okay, so after curling this bottom section, I'm gonna go ahead and start teasing a little bit of volume in the front. And again, she already has so much texture in her hair, but if she didn't, and I was doing this on an actual person, I would spray my texturizing powder first and then go in and tease at the root. And then I'm going to take another section. And then I'm going to do one more section right here. Perfect. And then I'm going to continue curling the hair all the way up and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now that I've got both sides curled, I'm going to go ahead and just smooth out any uh, frizz from the teasing that we did on both sides. And just lightly comb over it to smooth that out. Then I'm going to take this ponytail and just very gently very carefully clip it and then we're going to bring both sides of the hair back and when I'm doing this I want to make sure that it flows nicely into that top crown area section so I just want to make sure everything flows really nice and then I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, so I just wanted to grab my clips. So I've got this hair going in the direction I want it to. I'm going to take a little bit more of my Osis Volume Up hairspray and just smooth any additional frizz. And then I'm going to place one of my metal clips there just to hold it in place. And then I'm going to work on this other side getting it all smoothed out and I did leave a little I'm leaving a little bit in the front down so I'm taking the same amount of hair same sectioning on the other side and I'm just lightly combing out smoothing out the frizz getting that hair going in the direction that I want it and then I'm going to give it a light spray just to smooth out that frizz And then I'm going to very gently take my section here, unclip this, and we are going to marry these 
these two sections together right underneath that first ponytail we did. So I'm going to take another elastic band and just carefully secure these together. And I'm just being very careful to keep everything super clean so we don't make everything frizzy. And once I have that ponytail through, I'm going to take my two fingers down through that middle section, give this a little twist, grab it, and we're just going to flip it and pull it back under, and then I'm going to pull it tighter. Perfect. So now it's going to give it some more volume underneath. Now we can let this section down and pull this tighter over it. So by having both ponytails, it's going to give it extra volume. Now what I'm gonna do is work on pulling out the volume and giving her more texture through this area right here. So I wanna take my comb and just lift this up first of all right here. Just lift this up a little bit, sliding my comb under there and just pulling it up slightly. And then what I'm gonna do is just start pinching and pulling some pieces out very carefully. That way everything flows really nicely together. And I love doing a half up, half down this way. I think it is so pretty. I'm not gonna pin anything just yet because I do wanna make sure I get this volume exactly how I want it. And so I'm just going to spend a little bit of time working on it. And then you can see the pieces that I left down in front, just a little bit of face framing. Okay, once I'm happy with the crown area and the amount of texture, I'm gonna go ahead and take some two inch bobby pins and I'm gonna go underneath this ponytail and I'm just gonna secure that first top ponytail to the head because it's a little loose and I wanna make sure that it stays in place. So I'm just going in and locking that right in and then placing that where I want it, smooth out any frizz. And then I'm gonna go in with my comb and just lightly comb these curls out. And usually for a lot of my half up, half down styles, I highly recommend my brides to get extensions. Um, so I do a lot of clip and extensions in my bride's hair because it really elevates the look, especially if they're gonna be wearing their hair half up, half down. Okay, and then once that's all combed out, I've got the volume that I like, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down good. And then if they have really thick hair, you could even take a third section back here or even for sort of like a faux ponytail, what you could do is gather all this hair or just take like one more section and keep like this bottom middle section down. You could do one more um, ponytail, taking it through and flipping it. And it would just make it look really voluminous back here. And that is also another option. And I do that a lot for those the illusion of like a really long full ponytail. So anyways, this is the finished look. I will go ahead and do a full little video of the whole look. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you'll try it out. If you guys like this video and you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any other future content coming your way. And if you have any other video suggestions, let me know in the comments. Again, I will link every single product that I use in this video, I'll link it down below in the description and I will see you all in the next one.